So the question is whether CH3, COOH, is ionic or covalent. This is ethanoic acid, also called acetic acid. So if we look at the periodic table here, broken up into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we'll find carbon. Then over here, we have hydrogen and oxygen. And all of these are nonmetals. So because we have all nonmetals, this is going to be a covalent compound. It'll have covalent bonds. It's also called a molecular compound. Let's take a look at the structure for a moment and see what that means. So here's the structure for CH3COOH. And you'll notice that we write this COOH here out special because it represents this carboxylic acid right here. This is the carboxylic acid. So that's why it's written this way. As we look at the bonds here, we have these bonds, these lines. Each line here represents a pair of electrons. This is a chemical bond, and it's a covalent bond. These electrons are shared. For this right here between the carbon and the oxygen, we have two. So we have two pairs being shared. So it's a covalent compound. Electrons are shared between all these nonmetals here. We should note that acetic acid, it is a weak acid. And therefore, it's a weak electrolyte. And this hydrogen right here, this one right here, will actually come off when it's in water. It'll dissociate, and it'll give us an H plus, and then we'll have the minus here on this part of the compound, the acetate ion. Because it's a weak electrolyte, a very small percentage of these will actually come off and form that hydrogen ion and give us the acetate ion. So we consider this a covalent compound because all of these bonds, the electrons are being shared between the nonmetals here. So CH3COOH is covalent, also called molecular. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.